Hey, yeah, look at that. I don't know how much blotchier I can get than this. I thought it might be a completely unretarded idea to let you know exactly what I look like. <laughs> right, um, and in, I'm waiting for some art to appear in my Skype thing, so I thought, in the meantime, I might as well do a response to this woman. I just never want anybody to be quiet, to shut up. Challenge accepted. You know, we have our voices for a reason. Yes, for discussing important things. Like women's rights and animism. If any of you don't know where this is going, brace yourself. I really do relate so strongly to others who have no power. How do you feel about rocks? When you're throwing shitloads of them at innocent human beings, are you thinking, those poor rocks <laughs> getting powerlessly collided with the skulls of nearby children, having been somehow propelled through the air by some divine wind from nowhere? Look at this. See that? It's the tiniest proto-life form you can possibly imagine. It has less power than half a page of genetic formula. Oh, there's billions of them and you're dead. How adorable. And of course, being 65 now, I have experienced more discrimination against women than you see today. Yes, you see, that's how the feminist progressive stack works. You'd think it would prioritise the children first, but no. After all, the 65-year-old woman has experienced... 13 times as much discrimination as a five-year-old girl. <laughs> Regardless of history or geography. You see, for a man to be classified as discriminated against, he has to be governmentally forced into labour. No, that doesn't count. Um, uh, he has to have his junk mutilated like a dog. No, that doesn't count. Oh, he has to be called a faggot. There you go. <laughs> but and that's just a single incident. Whereas for, for uh, women, have to do this abysmally discriminatory thing called existing. I don't know how the fuck you cope. But discrimination is discrimination. And I suppose boys will be boys and other helpful tautologies. But it's not all woo, ladies and gentlemen. You'll never guess what she's about to say. And it's wrong. It's one of the wrongest things you'll ever hear. In fact, I'm going to have to rev it up again. And it's wrong. And it's wrong. And it's wrong. It's fucking brilliant, you guys. It might be the most cogent thing ever said in the name of feminism. I really have to churn it. Shit, it's worth it. Red Rocket, Red Rocket! And it's wrong, and it's wrong. And take it away. Whether you're a woman or a chicken. Pigs are more equal than chickens! And of course, the poor chickens, the non humans. I mean, it makes a refreshing change, at least. <laughs> Normally, I find myself having to argue for men's humanity. <laughs> don't have an ability to fight for themselves, no one even notices at all what they're going through. Sometimes the hypocrisy gets so sad that it's not even funny anymore. Like most killing fields are predominantly, if not exclusively, male populated and this ready cheat virago couldn't give half a fuck. It's not as if they're just denied property rights, which women were. It's a good thing women do have property rights now. Because nowadays you never see women living rent-free in men's property. How many of you? Be honest. It's that they're denied their very life. What do you eat, Ingrid? And was it ever alive? Oh, they're plants! That's okay, is it? Smashing. I'll just eat this entire rainforest, shall I? Dickhead. Their reproductive systems, of course, are used against them for eggs and milk and so on. So yes, I relate as a woman so strongly to animals. Who the fuck stole your eggs, Ingrid? Who the fuck? 
Stock stole your Okay, it's alcohol time. She thinks she's a chicken. You think other kin headmates are the fourth wave? She's 60 fucking five! I suspect that women have the advantage of never having to feel embarrassed about showing their emotions. Whereas men traditionally have been told, keep your emotions in check, keep them in a box, don't show them, never cry, you know, don't, don't reach out. We, as women, can do all that, and we should. We shouldn't try to man up. That's just rubbish. If manning up means living your life in a box, then yes, Ingrid, that is quite rubbish, and I wouldn't recommend it. And we should stop treating women like chickens by not respecting their feelings. Oh, wait, Ingrid, I'm getting very confused, and I don't think it's the booze. Got a honey jack in my nose. You know, I think the first time you're criticized or you fear you're going to be criticized, you get nervous or upset. But after a period of time, you have to remember they're not really attacking you, they're attacking your message. I like you, Ingrid. Fuck all the chicken shit. I forgive you completely because the thing you just said is perfect. Not even being sarcastic, I can get right behind that oh. argument. If you can spread that principle to your fellow feminists, you will do a world of good for everyone. <laughs> because quite a lot of them are under the opposite impression. That any attack on their message is an attack on them as a woman, and not every woman. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't come down on you like a ton of bricks, to be honest. In fact, if they're rude to me, that I must have struck a nerve, and then I've won, haven't I? <laughs> That's not how I would measure it. I consider the win state to be an establishment of the truth as objectively as possible. But if it's, if it's all about striking nerves with you, all right, whatever. As games go, that sounds sadistic, but at least you're engaging. So I just keep being polite and I keep going and I keep saying what is truth. Fuck, I just remembered the chicken thing already. You're really stupid. Ingrid, okay, I'm back to confused again. Because the truth is the absolute defense. The truth is what will come out in the end. Now that's called shit, Ingrid. Or in your case, guano. You don't have to be clever. You don't have to know every fact about something. You do need a cloaca, though. You just have to say, I'm sorry, but what's happening to that animal is wrong. I object to that, and I'm here to speak on behalf of that animal. Well, see you in Canada, folks. Maybe even in the USA. You know, I take back everything I said. I've been informed that everyone in North America loves white men. <laughs> So yeah, I'm safe as houses. <laughs> the rest of you honey badgers are fucked, but I'm invincible. <laughs> you know, I really need to check my privilege and man up. <laughs> Message received. God mode engage. <laughs> it's great how much we learn together, isn't it? Just doing a dirty dude, yeah. It's just green and bloody beauty to know.
Scared bird noises, yes. <laughs> 